this is a thing that's been happening for a while. We're now all in person. Let's just fucking nut up and fix it. They got like a fucking huge tournament and not next week. Like this is probably the biggest tournament we've all played for. This is like a lot of shit that we've been raking for for a long time. So we just got to piece this shit together in this final week and we'll be good. Push ourselves. If you see someone's fucking not coming, if you see someone's not doing shit, then push them. So that when we go in, we go out of the gate, we're just shitting on all these teams. Cause I know that we're gonna shit on all these teams. We have the best draw. Like this exit draw is literally so perfect for us. Cause we're gonna fucking shit on them because we're playing completely different. They have no idea how we play. It's a new style, new everything. We're just gonna go out of the gates. We're gonna 2-0 them. And then we're gonna fucking roll everybody in this tournament. you can kind of help me with the history and the timeline so we had the sentinels one i think was uh the height being at the top like i never really felt that in cs it was kind of like an insane feeling to finally you know win and we beat sentinels in the finals who was considered you know the best team in the world at the time LG are your champions. Three, two, they pick up the we hit our peak and then things started to really slow down for us we could tell that we weren't playing like we were like a month previously. Against, they will eliminate Luminosity from the tournament and they themselves will move forward into the I know we hit a really rough spot and then we ended up making the changes. We needed a more dedicated IGL and that's where Dazzle comes in. LG was looking at making changes and they picked me up. What I was hearing about the team, it sounded like there's no structure and like it was kind of just free form. It was a totally different meta. We were just work picks pretty much. And now the meta has completely changed. We can't really play that way. And the day I found out that they were going to actually buy me out to come to LG is the day that Moose actually broke his wrist, which was really awesome that those two, you know, I'm like begging. We're, we're all like praying that me and Moose can reunite and, you know, play on LG together. And the day it finally happens, it was like a long process. You know, he, bro he broke his wrist so he couldn't play. We ended up getting a Tanner Tig to stand in for me while I was injured. LG was my number one choice of a team I wanted to join when I was a free agent. I really like Caleb. I was a former teammate with Dre, and Dre was really cool. I loved him on Beast Coast. Me and Tig are pretty close. Like he's my main duo, and like we we were on a team like before. So yeah, like we we've known each other for for a while now. It just made our team that much more solid. Like Tig is like one of the best like controller players in the game. Like one of the best smoke players. He just like elevated our team. I'm very happy that I ended up here. We're at the boot camp right now. It's Wednesday, about halfway through the week. We just finished scrimming a couple teams. Uh, everything's been going great though. But that's really exciting, uh, meeting Tanner and Dre. I've never met them before. You know them from online, but like it's really cool to be able to hang out with everyone in person, like everyone that you've been playing with. I think it's a lot more productive and it's nice to like really get to know your teammates and have more of a connection. I think it pays off a lot. I think it's more fun. And also our practice feels a lot better. I, I feel like everyone's a bit more focused. I haven't been on land like playing with, with my teammates or with anyone and literally since before COVID. So like just being around people that are on my team and gaming is amazing. And LG has been awesome as fuck this whole boot camp. So that like as a whole is just really awesome. Being with the team's always gonna be better. The practice is better. Like everyone's super engaged because you can't you know what I mean? You can't be on your phone and stuff while we're going over stuff because I can just look at you and like, what are you doing? Being in this focused mindset and us playing together online or together in real life for the first time is building closer bonds for the game, which is I think really important for our first line coming up in like a week. I give a shout out to Matt because he's been keeping us like on our game and stuff and making sure we have a good mindset coming into the boot camp. Oh my God, that's how they did it in like Little League. Alright, let's start. There you go. Peek out ropes and then probably like get one and then Oh yeah, like here, we don't do this enough. We, we like seriously don't do this enough. Like after, they just like, they're burning all their shit. There's 55 seconds left, they're up. It's okay to give this up. We have man advantage. And like, we, we seriously don't do this enough. Like, yeah, I know, but like, I don't know. Um, That's minor. Alex doesn't really communicate what he's doing. So like, he just kind of like runs up and like, we have no plan. That round we just watched is literally like the worst shit that we do. Yeah, no, like I'm telling you, like, like literally, there's mecha comms where you are not taking fights or getting crossfires together, and we get bailed out because I broke the team is mechanically skilled, so it yeah. doesn't matter sometimes. But like, that round should be free. We have like a, we our setup isn't even bad. It's just we're not 
fucking talking. Yeah, we have to all focus yeah, on talking like, listeners. I mean, I don't want to just be like, tell you guys to focus, but I mean, that's all it really comes down to is like, yeah. just more, more focus, more diligence. Some of like our micro communication, like in rounds, just like having good spacing and being next to each other and fighting together. We're sometimes not super good at that. We rely on the individual skill instead of working together as a team, which is better. It's like our biggest flaw right now. When we're winning, everyone gives ideas like, hey, let's do this this round, push with me. And then when we're losing, everyone's just kind of like quiet and just going with the flow. And then we start playing bad. As long as everyone's on their game, like if our teamwork is really good and we're talking a lot, we have a good chance to win. Uh, do you have more stuff, Macaroni? Yeah, we're gonna watch this demo. Sheesh. On the big screen? Yeah. Nice. No one oh, takes my spot. Thank you. Being able to like watch VODs on like the big screen and everything, that helps a lot. Very important for us to beat Xset. I think uh, that team has been like a struggle for us and if we overcome them early, like I feel like this will be our tournament to win for sure. They've had a number for a while now and I wanna get the revenge. Any iteration of our roster, any iteration of their roster, we beat them one time, I think. Like, we beat them one time in a close best of three, and I think they beat us four or five times, like smashed us in a BO3. Yeah, they smoke us. They smoke us a lot. It's frustrating, but they're using up all their tokens, so we're bound to get one soon, and it'll be good to get it, this next one. When they win, they do it bonus. When they lose, they do it first. Oh my god. Bro, BCJ's fucking dirty. BCJ scares me. That dude's a fucking tank in this game. If there's three of us alive against him, like, no one's, I don't think anyone's gonna eat with him. No, we're gonna play it right. Well, except brute force their way onto the site. They take everything. Obviously, they're gonna have new things, so we didn't look at that, but. They played the same way for six fucking months, bro. <laughs> There's just not that much material to like hard anti-strat them, but they have this. They have a play style that they've played the same way kind of for the entirety of the games. So we're at, we're at a happy medium, and we're, we're focusing a lot on ourselves. And I was like, oh, good thing I locked it. I come outside and she's just sitting. She's just like sitting there waiting for me. And I was just like, hey, puppy. Hey, hey, hey. Well, that's good. Good news. Information. Holy shit. LCQ info. Yeah. Cool. Okay, at 3 p.m. today, we'll be announcing our updated format and bracket, but I want to make sure you guys have a heads up. Do not speak about this, but moving okay. we're I, moving to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're moving to a standard 18, eight team double oh. elimination format for the event. You guys are going to be going against Exit first. So in the same bracket, it looks like with 100 Ooh. Thieves, Genji. It's the bracket we thought. I was honestly like asleep. I didn't know until like four hours later, to be honest. I, I went like, yo, you guys see this double format? They're like, yeah, we talked about it four hours ago. So honestly, I didn't know, but I'm really happy it's not a single limb anymore. I think just having one chance and then if you have a bad day, then you're out. I think that's kind of dumb. Even if, you know, we beat Exa, it would be sad to see them go home, you know, after one match if they had a bad performance or if we had a bad for anyone, you know? I'm excited to get the chance to, to play them on, I think, the most important matchup we've had against them now. Focusing on ourselves, I think, is probably going to be the biggest thing that we need to do. And, like, Exet's not the only team, so, you know, obviously we have to beat Exet, but we have to beat every other team there, too. So, I've tried to tell Mac, you know, Mac wants to do as much and he's trying to get whatever he can do to help us win, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we have to prepare for six, seven other teams, so, I don't know, just, we can smash them and smash everybody else. We have to beat everybody. Let me see who we are scrimming. Oh. Wait, we're scrimming in four minutes. Oh, we got a banger versus TSM, and then Renegades, and then Renegades again, and then Virtuoso. It's good to practice against a good op burst. One of our biggest, like, weaknesses right now is just getting picked by ops. So it's good to scrim against, uh, Against TSM, especially since Exet has a pretty strong jet opera, so it'll definitely be good practice for uh, for LCQ. Yeah, every team we're gonna play is gonna have a good jet op. True. We need the practice, like you said. But they're not Dre. They aren't Dre. Dre is the best jet op and rifler. Well, Dre might not be the best jet op. We might be, <laughs> but he's definitely go to jet. Like, uh, but when he gets more time on the jet, like he's just picked up the op, but he's getting really good at it and. Uh, I think he's gonna have a lot of impact with it this tournament. I kind of switched because I used to play Reina, there's an age called Reina, and now I'm playing a uh, Jet, 
So I'm just trying to make sure like um, as comfortable as possible that I can be like a top jet player because I haven't like proven myself on jet really. He's played constantly. He's he is a huge grinder and like he's always trying to get better and like not just by playing like he's cerebral about it too. So, like I've been grinding my ass off. Like I've been playing every single day like. 13 hours a day just grinding ranks, grinding scrims, trying to get good at it. I just really like playing good. Like I really like want to be the best. I really want to be like someone that my team can depend on. And like to do that, like I just need to play a lot of games. Like uh, I literally hate losing. Like I, I hate doing bad in games. I hate doing bad in matches. Like I never want that to happen to me. So I just try to play and grind everything out, make sure I'm as pre prepared as possible for every situation. I'm the one everyone expects to do really good. And uh, I feel like everyone's like leaning on me. Like to have a good performance. Yeah, like I like the pressure. I like uh, like setting high standards for myself and being able to fulfill them. Since we're like prepping for this big land with a lot of the North American teams in it, our practice is versus a lot of the teams we think are not at our level. That's kind of who we've been playing for the last couple weeks because you don't want to play the teams that are going to be at the event. We'll start losing and people get a little frustrated because it feels like we're losing to teams that are just not as good as us. And it's kind of just a mentality thing. We start to just get a little not tilted, but like just quiet and people start to care less and get annoyed um, and it kind of makes our practice suck. So we had to kind of nip that in the bud. We're now all in person. Let's just fucking nut up and fix it. We got like a fucking huge tournament and not next week. Like this is probably the biggest tournament we've all played for. This is like a lot of shit that we've been working for for a long time. So we just got to piece this shit together in this final week and we'll be good. Push ourselves, push each other. If you see someone's fucking not calming, if you see someone's not doing shit, then push them so that when we go in, we go out of the gate, we're just shitting on all these teams because I know that we're going to shit on all these teams. We have the best draw. Like, this exit draw is literally so perfect for us because we're going to fucking shit on them because we're playing completely different. They have no idea how we play. It's a new style, new everything. We're just going to go out of the gates, we're going to 2-0 them, and then we're going to fucking roll everybody in this tournament. The we're, shit where, like, we are going to tilt in the scrim, it's, like, not even one person. It's literally all five of us. So, like, each of us, including myself, like, especially yeah, exactly. myself, have to, like, be recognizing this and just, it doesn't matter. Like, we can't get... We can't scrim Envy right now. We cannot scrim 100 Thieves. We're playing Renegades and we're playing Ghost. And it doesn't matter if they're up 5-0 on us. Like, we just have to keep practicing. I want to hear fucking comms, like, rapid firing. I want to hear, like, it's a match. I want us adapting. I want us fucking reacting well. I want us fucking fixing shit. I don't want us fucking losing two rounds, three rounds in a row, and just sitting there with our dicks in our hands fucking. So, like, let's go in there and, like, let's fucking go do our shit. Can we just go do that? Let's get it. It's a team thing. We all have to give 100% to the practice, even if it's not going great. You gotta open it. Okay. There's presents in there. Shannon just like just got me a Halloween card because the scrims before were kind of rough, and she just got me it to like cheer me up a bit, I guess. <laughs> Not just happy, silly happy, crazy giddy. Dizzy, wow. <laughs> Be that kind of happy on your scrim plus competition days. You got this. There we go. Oh. And then there's a thousand dollars in there too. There's no money Thank in you, here. Shannon. Where's the money at? It was it was kind of funny and kind of got me in a better mood. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have better scrims after this, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right? Who are we screaming? I got, I, 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 I got shit in my hands. I got shit in both my hands. I think Shannon just went and got us a bunch of like little Nerf guns and shooters just to fuck around with and did its job. We were all fucking around and having fun. Dude, who did that? Was that you? Who did that? And we're still in a little bit in the middle of practice shooting each other sometimes. <laughs> Bro, how'd you get all the bullets? Chill, oh, man. It's good because it, it helped the atmosphere a little bit and get people a bit more positive after a, a rough scrim. You gotta have a good positive mindset, otherwise, like, uh, if you get, like, tilted, like, it'll affect your gameplay a little bit. Sometimes it's good to, like, take a break. You play basketball often? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice out in Cali at night. It's very cool. So, um, sometimes when you're in, like, a room cooked up with, like, five guys, you kind of just want to get outside and breathe some non-stinky air and shit. I don't know, it's something to do other than stare at a screen. Because we're still talking about the game a lot of time while we're out there, but we're doing something else. Too. So it, it's like a nice change of pace. I don't think anyone really plays a lot. Everyone's just gamers, so. Yeah, I didn't hit, I didn't hit a shot, a single one. It's good for team botting and good to just take a break from the computer, because like we've been scrimming a lot, so. 
just need to take a break and like re reset for the next couple of scrums. I'm one of the people that can make a shot, but Dre actually beat me in a game of pick. It was dark out, I couldn't see. You know, if it was bright out, I think I'd win. I guess he has the best jumper, but I like a rematch. We're all just grinders and like we know like when we can like shift off a little bit and just have like a good laugh because like if you're serious like 24-7 like it's not going to be like it's not going to be as productive like you're going to like get burnt out and like sometimes you just need to take a break like lay off a little bit and just have a good time. Vensily and Green predicted Cloud9 Blue Qual. Mitchman predicted Ekta. No one predicted LG, huh? Nah, but Uber predicted 100 Eats. Who's Uber? Uber Eats? Uber Shouts. Yeah. Verified. Uber Shouts. Yeah, he's verified. Okay. So am I. I don't think we've proven ourselves yet. So I, I, I don't think that people have a reason to really think that. Um, to think anything incredibly highly of us. Like, they know, I think, we're all great players, but it's uh, whether or not we can put that together on a team and do well with it. Other than that, I feel like most other teams are probably, like, sleeping on us kind of hard. We're definitely the underdog coming into this tournament, or a underdog, and I don't think many people see us winning it, except for, you know, our group. People that aren't in teams and stuff, they just like to uh, type a lot, of, a lot of stuff that they don't know about, and. That's, that's what I'll say about that. In like the future, if any pro team ever has a roster change, I hope nobody that doesn't know about it types. That's my wish. I just think we all all want to make it, <laughs> I guess. Um, we all want to make champs and be known as the best team in the North America, the world. I mean, it means like everything to me. Like I've been preparing for this for months. Like this is gonna be my first Valorant land. So it's like a really big opportunity to prove myself and like just prove myself as a top player. All I wanna do is win. Like, that's all I care about. Realistically, we all just wanna win. We all wanna win bad. That's what we all want. We all wanna be, you know, the best team in the world, best players we can be. And in order to do that, we have to compete at champs. So this is our last chance.